Hello, today we are going to create functionality so that whenever we click with our mouse then some new object will be instantiated in that spot. So first just click on a game because as you can see our camera window is a bit distorted so once we go there and go back we can see that its ratio is back to normal. So in order to instantiate some object we will need that object so right click, create empty and call it just a dot maybe and add some sprite renderer to it so that we have some object that is visible. Press on knob and maybe change the color to red so it's better visible. I will just drag and drop it to our project window to create a prefab out of it. Now we are going to need some script and the game manager object. So create empty, call it game manager object. And now let's create the script. Right click, create C sharp script. Just open it and we need to get some reference to our dot object. So just make it serialize field. Just wait a second so that auto completion start working for us and now we're going to get a game object so we are just typing game object and let's call it dot prefab and now in order to get input from the user we need to use update method so just make a conditional statement if and now we have to specify whenever something should happen it should happen when we left click so input and let's get mouse button down and inside the parentheses we need to provide the in button which in our case will be zero because it will be a left mouse button so open the curly bracket and inside we have to specify the position where this new object should be instantiated screen position so whatever we see and we try to click on is a bit different than the positions that our game object are placed in so we have to convert this screen position to this word position so let's do it let's create a vector 3 vector 3 and let's call it maybe spawn position and inside this vector we want to assign some method that will change our click position to this word position. So to do it, we are going to use the main camera. So we have to specify camera, then main, and then we need to use a screen to word point. So screen to word to word point method. And inside we need to specify which position need to be changed. So we need to change our input mouse position. So just type input and then mouse position and let's put a semicolon at the end then we can go beneath and instantiate new game object so let's do it create a new game object and call it just g and assign instantiate method to it and inside we are going to spawn this dot prefab that we just made reference at the top and after the comma we want to get a spawn position so just say spawn position and then we don't want to rotate it so just use quaternion identity semicolon at the end and it looks like we've got our code ready okay let's get back to unity and we have to make a reference to our dot so just delete the one that is in the scene already click on game manager object add script to it and we need to provide this dot prefab in the field we created so just drag and drop it save it and just press play and whenever we click new dots are created but we can't really see them so if you click on one of it you can see its position which is pretty good but the z position is on minus 10 and we don't want it but you might ask why it's on minus 10 because we are using the main camera and if you click on it you can see that the z position for the camera is minus 10 as well so we need to change it because we would like to instantiate them at z0 position 
So in order to do it, the simplest way would be just to convert this pawn position vector 3 to vector 2 so that the z value will be set to 0 straight away. So let's do it, just open the parentheses and inside just type vector 2. So this vector 3 will be casted to vector 2 straight away. So just save it, go back to Unity and now press play and let's uh, see if that made the difference. And as you can see, wherever we click, new prefab is being created.